Um, I like to praise the speaker that he spoke about his history with sexual abuse. I am a survivor as well and my abuser was a parliamentary woman who is no longer there. I was actually quite shocked that she didn't help me to um, protect everyone in this room throughout New Zealand with children. I had to um, as a 12 year old I had to protect others from being raped, being murdered, being um, sodomized because I was um, all alone in this big ass world where all these million billionaire people that work in that bloody building over there got paid heaps of money while I was being scum of the universe because i tell you something, being survivor of the sexual abuse and the heroism, I think it sucks. It's a really low life for somebody that young to go through to survive all this hell and what they get for it? Oh, you're just another Māori who is um, another low life, uneducated. I was an I was an awesome educator at the age of eight to the age of twelve until my will crashed around me. And all I had to do was I went to twelve sorry, twelve institutions was the same thing. If I wanted education, guess what I had to do? Finally, from the age of six to the age of twelve, had to go and rape others because I was raped. I think it's utterly disgusting. I think it's inhumanised, and I want justice. I deserve it, and I want an apology from social welfare allowing me to be in this rut that I've been living with for the last 46 years. I am 50 years old. My life is gone. My education was raped. Uh, molested, tortured with petrol, and I tell you what, I'm and this person who tells all these child abusers, you suck, you suck big time, and it's not even funny anymore. I'm over it. I want to go to the media about my story, but I don't know who to turn to because I'm so scared. Who, who was our abuser? Her name was Higa Parata. She was at a hui when I meant to be found out to a lady who was my mum's cousin and she denied my rights. She took my rights as a human being. She took my title from me. She stole my tea on my own, tikanga Māori. She put me in the isolation of Māori and Pākehā. Not, not everyone's a time lesson, not everyone's an abuser, but I'm sick and tired of the stereotype of Māori and Pākehā. We are equal, look at my colour. I am both brown and white. I am not going to choose one or the other because my grandparents gave me this blood and I'm happy with it. I cannot divide my culture over somebody else that doesn't make sense to me. And I am Polynesian. And the only way I got my mother was to change my name to Māori, which is Seb Boy, which is Polynesian Māori. And I'm um, French, so who am I to argue my culture with? But I'm just disgusted with the stigma that Māori are just as sex vendors where we are survivors of this mess that they created. Kia ora whanau, kia kite anō. Thank you. 